microphone short, people friendly. I am five foot three. <laughs> Everybody. Uh, I'm going to do um, some older stuff, some new stuff, and some funny stuff. Um, the newer stuff, like most of my poetry is like I was angry at stuff, hence my book being called Fuming. <laughs> Right. Uh, but then I sort of got it out of my system, met someone, got a good shag, and now I've started writing stuff as well. So this one's called Funny Insults. It isn't about anyone, and usually my insulting poetry is actually about someone. Usually, when I do it, they're in the room. Um, but they don't know, because a lot of poets are very big-headed. Um, so this one's called Funny Insults. It's not about anyone. Definitely not anyone in the room. But I found it hilarious. You are the epitome of unwanted tickles. You're the elastic snapping in my best pair of knickers. You're a distinct lack of nuts when you bite into a Snickers. You are high school hallway Snickers and whispers. You're a swollen bearing a skateboarder's wheel. You're the way teeth on polystyrene fields. You're the way a faulty brake pad screams and squeals. You are skipping your fucking favorite meal. You're asking a vegetarian if he can eat wafer thin ham. You are never offering anyone a hand. You are a sock full to the brim of beach sand. You are sitting on the sidelines and never having a dance. You're a spot coming up when you've got a first date. You're the nerves that you feel when boarding a plane. You are the skin that a horsefly just recently bit. You are my enemy, my worst nemesis, and you are not worth how fucking brilliant this poem is. Thank you. I'm going to go straight into another foot. I think it's funny. Um, <laughs> this one is about how awful I think rim jobs are because they're pointless. <laughs> they're absolutely fucking pointless. And this is um, this is called weird rim. <laughs> it goes like this. Pornhub is ruining my sex life. All of a sudden, these waist guys think they need to fuck you from the side at an angle like he's digging for a prize. Some of them even want you to wear a disguise. All I know is, though, my clitoris is not on my arsehole. <laughs> Where did the fascination come from? Bending me up in knots. Me thinking I'm about to be eaten like a fancy fondant. But then you went to the back and skipped the front, immediately putting me at risk of thrush. All I know is though, my clitoris is not on my arsehole. Rolling my eyes while you're eating my behind. I'm feeling absolutely nothing and holding a fart in, never mind. You're moaning away having a lovely time and I'm in fucking silence wondering why I didn't just politely decline. All I know is though, my clitoris is not on my arsehole. <laughs> Don't listen to Pornhub, the moans are fake. You're definitely not meant to eat pussy that way. She definitely doesn't enjoy all that jizz on her face and her acting skills definitely don't get her enough pay. <laughs> all I know is though, my clitoris is not on my arsehole. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Okay, I'm going to try and do this one off by heart, and I'm really sorry if anyone is either super close to a police officer or is a police officer in the in the audience. ACAB! Yes! <laughs> this one's um, called Fuck the Pigs. <laughs> <laughs> this little piggy went to market, this little piggy's wife's controlled, this little piggy ate all the roast beef and this little piggy snorts coke. And this little piggy went all the way into the woods to hide a dismembered woman's body in a fridge and that's why I can't go for a fucking walk. They are not treating this as suspicious. They talk about what they would do and pretend it's fictitious. They are bully victims that have now turned vicious. Eat your bacon sarnies, you cannibalistic piglets. Where are those lost papers? How many of your mates are rapists? A pig is happy when it's swimming in shit and swine flu is contagious. How many of you want to out your mates that are knowingly fucking dangerous but sit on the sidelines like a cog in the system telling yourself you're blameless? Fuck the pigs, fuck the big wigs. We are not on your fucking wavelength. ACAB, ACAB, ACA fucking B. Nice one. Oh, let me tell you, he's there about.
about the clips in my song and I'm so <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do another little serious one now. It's a little bit more serious. I'm gonna slam some um, trigger warnings at you and that. Uh, this one, I'm gonna explain what it's about and then I'm gonna go into it. And if you don't want to listen to it, that's fine. I understand. Sorry, I've had three pints. <laughs> This one is about experiencing sexual abuse as a child. Um, taking that person to court when I was 28, like two decades later, and because he was working around children and losing, and then realizing that without all these dark twists and turns that my life wouldn't be exactly as it is now. I wouldn't be exactly who I am now, and I love myself just as I am. Just as I am with my bingo wings and my double chin and my fat knees, I'm all right. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm all right just as I am and I wouldn't change it, which is very odd for me to say out loud, but I wouldn't change it. So this is called Kitten Teeth and that's what it's about. Yeah. 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 Are you <laughs> <clears throat> You've got kitten teeth. And you are nibbling, trying to whittle into what I hold beneath. But you have only got kitten teeth. Beneath my skin is galaxies, chocolate waves embody me. Scars are only paper thin upon the surface, but within, they're as thick as bathroom porcelain. And mark me for every sin that has been imparted upon me. PTSD, what makes me me and makes me tick is different. Or is it? Have we not all grown up with some kind of trauma as a kid that colours us imperfect but perfectly indifferent? I am purple and green, northern lights bouncing off my insides as my inner child covers her eyes and hides. She still hides within and pretends to sleep while monsters cover her in handprints. Show me on the dolly where he left an imprint. Not guilty, lack of evidence. I am. The centre of humbug mints. I am chocolate limes and beach footprints. I am goosebumps books and HMV finds. I am red vines and dolls hair intertwined. I am honeydew melons and Jamaican tonic wines. I am beautiful despite my inner child's demise and that is my cloud silver line. Thank you. This is one of the, <laughs> this is one of the, wrote, the ones I've wrote after having a good shag. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me to be quiet, I cannot. Don't tell me to put out the fires, I am in equinox. I am on the equator, riddled with patience, so be patient with me. I am blatantly over-exaggerated. Is that exasperated? The silence is evaporating. I cannot be quiet while you're sat in pain debating. I want to pick apart the thoughts and burn the pages. Speak with cadence, back to basics. So don't tell me to be quiet because I cannot. I am in equinox. Equal sun to equal moon and I howl in the night like a hot fox. Sit with me while I hotbox the room with my socks off and dance as I break the locks off. Don't tell me to be quiet because I cannot. Thank you. Yeah. Here's another one that I wrote after I the push And if these haven't got uh, titles, so I'm going to probably explain them like that at the next event that I do, that he's also at. Um, this is what happens when you, when you get with a poet. <coughs> My throat and lungs are sore from screaming out for more. Spin me around, arms spread wide, and we saw across mountain peaks. Taste the clouds on the roof of my mouth, cotton candy sweet. Butterflies in my tummy, excited feet. Fair ground, playground, hopscotch street, picnics under trees, butterflies and bumblebees. Is this what it feels like to be loved free? Fields of lavender and honeysuckle brushing over my knuckles as I swim in the air, picking up bundles, seatbelt unbuckled, I'm in for the ride. 
Couples muffled chuckles as we rough and tumble into the sea of life. My smile reaches my eyes and they are open for the first time. Thank you. I'm going to do um, two more pieces. This one is called Body Positivity. Now, if the men in the room want male body positivity, go and look for Tom Stock's Chubby Northerner. He does a lot of male body positivity stuff. He's got a book out called Lovely Chubbly. He's amazing. This is for the women, because I've grown up um, with magazines from like a very young age telling me that like my stretch marks aren't correct, I'm too big, I'm too little, I've got acne where I shouldn't have acne all my days, you need to lose weight, you don't need to lose weight, you need to put weight on, I can't be fucking arsed with it anymore, to be really honest. Well, so this yes. is called Body Positivity and it's for the women in the room that are fucking afraid to look at a mirror when you shouldn't be. I don't understand why women feel bad about their bodies, come off it! Magazines and hot topics are written by men with no hips for profit. I bet you don't even get lips. Let their opinions be eclipsed and fall in love with your own hip dips because fuck this whether you're plus sized or stick thin or fucking fit. Talk about I need to lose that blubble or bun that you're a stunner. How can you expect anyone else to love you when you look in the mirror you don't love her? It's funner. It's funny. Trust me. Fall in love with your own skin. Sink your teeth into self-love from within because you only get one chance to live this. You get one body. You might as well love it. Whether you're athletic or thick as a snick, whether you've got acne prone skin, a stoma, psoriasis or a missing limb, you're living, you're breathing and you're a pifting. Beauty isn't measured by your waistline, and it's a waste of time looking for girls that look how we do online. Inner beauty always shines bright, and one of the best things you can do is be confident despite any fright that your dress might look a bit tight. Walk and roll with strength in your tread, even if you've got a way to go yet. Give your body a bit of respect. Tell yourself you're beautiful in the mirror when you reflect, and let your food digest, and let any jokes and ingest go over your head. Because any man that says anything west when you're not feeling your best probably couldn't even get anywhere near your bed. Enjoy yourself, love yourself, and stay blessed. Thank you. <laughs> this one's about how sick I think I am as a poet. It is. <laughs> Uh, I've, what it is, right? So I'm not I'm not about to slag anyone off at all, but I have just, for personal reasons of my own, left my publisher, right? Uh, and I've got a box of books. Uh, I've got a bag of books over there, right? How much are they? The the, the twelve pound, right? Okay, that's okay. But if you want to come over to me and buy them, I can change the line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Say it differently. Say it differently. It's like twelve. Stop in twelve quid. Right, there's a few things today. First off, I've got a cat and someone slagged off cats on the stage, right? And she's fucking with me cat, by the way. Right, and she wouldn't eat me face if I had a stroke. Right, second off, someone mentioned Nosley Safari Park and I am literally from five minutes away from Nosley Safari Park in Mont Nosley. And when you're, from, if you, when you're from near Nosley Safari Park, right, and you get traffic updates on your radio, you know when it breaks up the radio or your CV and goes, by the way, there's traffic coming. We get notifications that like monkeys have escaped from no piece of <laughs> I'm not even joking. Like, so that's why my accent's a bit of a mixture. So when I went way before, because I was not from Manchester, like I prefer being from here because I get attacked for how I look where I'm from. Um, and the other thing was sourdough, me. I tried the dad to make sourdough, you know, when it was one of those, so I just fucking shook the thing down the toilet. And I moved out before I found out if I had one. It's right. So that's one I tell you I I am <laughs> this is called magic. Expression is massive, creating magic for the masses, bringing hope to those in lower classes. I'm dyslexic, but as a poet, I'm active. Spoken word in front of mics, turning classic tragic into passive laughing. I'll be damned if I don't inspire hope. Hopeless once, but now I've found my role. Rolling round words sat on my throne. Words like thorns, I'm torn and forlorn. But as a sparkle, they'll still make you marvel. I'm reborn. 
like Stanley's heroes, I'm on form. Hands on hips, spittle on my lips, and I'm sworn it's this cause. It's my therapy, it's making me a different human being. Words are what my addiction needed, I'm fiending, feeding off the appreciation of my peers, and I'm breathing. Magic isn't in ones and witches. It starts when my pen hits this paper, I'm a wizard. Feel the coldness of my words like a blizzard. I picked up this big tip and I fixed it. Like a therapist with big tits, it soothed it. My words blitz bits like an epileptic fit, I'm a whiz kid. We go onwards and upwards. My expression is massive kidders. And I can be a bastard with it. I'm married to the art. I'm an artist, isn't it? I'll paint an image on your brain like a canvas picture. And there's a little bit of magic for you. Thank you very much. For